Now, let's answer questions sa nag-inbox natin. Galing ito kay Sir Raymart Apostol. Ang tanong niya, hello po ma'am, good day po. Pwede ko po bang malaman kung paano makuha ang ratio nito? Lagi po ako nanonood sa YouTube videos mo kaso di ko po mahanap yan. Ano? Ah, mahanap. Ya, yeah, itong ganito bali. So, ngayon sagutan natin. Basahin muna natin. The bar graph below shows the percentage distribution of total expenditures of company under various expense expense heads during 2003. So, yan introduction lang yan. So, ignore mo lang yan. Next. What is the ratio of the total expenditure in on infrastructure and transport to the total expenditure on taxes and interest on loans ratio unahin natin i-add ang ano ba yun? transportation infrastructure and transport infrastructure at itong transport 20 plus 12.5 5 is 2 total expenditure on taxes ito yung taxes and interest on loans ito yung interest on loans so 10 plus 10 plus 17.5 i-add muna natin yan and that is 32.5 at ito ay 27.5 5. Since ratio ang hinahanap, malist pa natin ito. Dapat wala tayong decimal. So, malist pa natin to by finding the greatest common factor, which is 2.5. Pero, para hindi kayo maguluhan itong 2.5, kasi ang 2.5, ang tanong nyo is, saan ko kinuha yung 2.5? Actually, yung 2.5, yan yung perfect na number na pwede natin i-divide sa 32.5. Ang sagot dyan ay 13. At saka itong 27.5 ang sagot dyan ay 11. Para hindi kayo maguluhan, doon tayo sa mas madali. Yan. 32.5.5 siya. Gawin natin whole number times 2 natin. Yan. 32.5 times 2 and that is 65. 27.5 times 2 is 55. Ngayon itong dalawa, si 50, uh, 65 versus or 65 is to 55, hanapan natin ng greatest common factor. Mas madali na siyang hanapan ng greatest common factor. Ang greatest common factor niyan ay 5. Ngayon, 65 divided by 5 and that is 13. 55 divided by 5 and that is 11. So, ang sagot dito ay 13 is 2, 11. Yan na yung ratio. 13 is 2, 11. Ulitin lang natin, ha? Mag-recap lang tayo. Mag-recap tayo. Erase muna natin yan lahat at uulitin lang natin. Dito tayo sa ratio. Total expenditure in, in, on infrastructure and transport to the total expenditure on taxes and interest on loans. So, i-add mo lang itong si infrastructure at saka si transport. 20 plus 12.5 and that is 32.5. Is to sa taxes mo at saka interest on loans. Asan ang taxes mo ito? At saka interest loans. 10 plus 17.5 and that is 27.5. Para mas madali, multiply mo lang ng 2. This is 65. This is 55. Hanapan natin ang greatest common factor which is 5. Para malis natin yan kasi nga ratio ang hinahanap natin. 65 divided by 5 and that is 13. 55 divided by 5 and that is 11. Yan na yung sagot. Now, you may ask, Bakit mo ini-ignore si percentage, ma'am? O sige, gusto niyo include si percentage kasi kasi nga percentage naman yan talaga. So let n be that yung asa na yun? yung total expenditure natin. 
na yun. So, sa percentage, dito muna tayo sa unang set, infrastructure at saka si transport. That is 20 plus 12.5 at percent yan siya of infrast, ano yun to? Expenditure. So, times N. Yung isa naman ay, asa na yung isa? Taxes at saka yung interest on loans. 10 plus, that is 10 plus 17.5 percent times N. So, ito yung unang set at ito naman yung pangalawa. Yung first at saka yung pangalawa. Iris nga natin yung 1 and 2. Baka malito kayo. Equals, yan na yung ratio natin dito. Ito yung nasa taas at saka ito naman yung nasa baba. Erase natin para klaro lang. Equals yan. Ang answer dito, ang sagot dyan, yan na yung bali answer na talaga natin. So, ito, this is 32, 32.5%. 32.5% N. Percent N. Yung isa naman ay 27.5%. 27.5% N. Kapag sinabing percent means per 100. So, that means that means 32.5 N per 100. Yung isa, ganun din. 27.5 N per 100. Kapag dinivide mo, mo yan, Cancel out na tayo itong dalawa na to. Cancel out. Kasi, ito, hayaan mo muna, ha? Yung N over 100 divided by N over 100, that is equals to 1. So, cancel out mo na yan. Ignore mo yan. Ignore, ignore. So, ngayon, ang natitira mo ay si 32.5 over 27.5. I-multiply mo ng 2 para mahul. Numbers lang yan dalawa. 65-55. I-list natin yan para doon tayo sa ratio by finding the greatest common factor which is 5. 65 divided by 5 and that is 13. Yung isa, 55 divided by 5 and that is 11. 13 over 11 or 13 is to 11. So, ganun pa rin ang sagot. Nagdagdagdagdag lang tayo ng N at saka si 100. Pariho lang din ang sagot. So, mag-focus ka lang sa pag-add nito at ito. Ratio nito versus nyan. So, ang sagot ay 13 is to 11.